गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडेज लेक्चर इज ऑन फंक्शनल असेसमेंट ऑफ हिप जॉइंट हिप जॉइंट रेंज ऑफ मोशन इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द फॉलोइंग एक्टिविटीज गेट सिटिंग गेटिंग अप फ्रॉम अ चेयर शू टाइंग पिकिंग थिंग्स अप फ्रॉम द फ्लोर सो इन आर ए डी एल दैट इज आर एक्टिविटीज ऑफ डेली लिविंग वी रिक्वायर रेंज ऑफ मोशन फ्रॉम हिप जॉइंट सो वॉट इज द फंक्शनल रेंज ऑफ मोशन फॉर हिप जॉइंट For example, shoe tying, you require one twenty degrees of hip flexion. For sitting, you required one hundred and twelve degrees of knee flexion. For stooping, you require one hundred and twenty five degrees of flexion. Squatting, you require one hundred and fifteen degrees of hip flexion, twenty degree of abduction, and twenty degree of medial rotation. For ascending stairs, that is to climb up on the stairs, you require sixty seven degrees of flexion. To descend stairs, that means to come down from the stairs, you require thirty six degrees of flexion. Putting foot on the opposite thigh, you require one twenty degrees of flexion, twenty degree of abduction, and twenty degree of lateral rotation. Putting on trousers require ninety degree of flexion. so there are some functional test which you can do on your patient to see if they are having proper functional range of motion or not the test are squatting you can ask your patient to squat you can ask your patient to ascend and descend the stairs crossing the legs so that the ankle of one foot rest on the knee of the opposite leg running straight ahead running and decelerating that means you can ask your patient to run and then to slowly stop it running and twisting that is changing the direction of running one leg hop and jumping all these activities you can ask your patient to perform and then you can see whether your patient is having good functional range of motion of the hip or not these are some testing for your functional range of motion of hip joint for example in standing position you can lift foot on to 20 cm step and return so these are the gradings for that 5 to 6 repetition means it is functional 3 to 4 repetition means it is functionally fair 1 to 2 repetitions means it is functionally poor and 0 repetitions means non functional in standing you can ask your patient to sit on a chair and return to standing position okay that requires your hip flexion and extension activity lift leg to balance on one leg keeping the pelvis straight then you can ask the patient to walk sideways around 6 meter that requires your hip abduction and adduction range of motion test of the floor means test leg is off the floor and then you ask the patient to do medial rotation of the non weight weight bearing hip next test is test leg of the floor and laterally rotate the non weight bearing hip that means the leg which is in the air you can ask the patient to laterally rotate it so you can perform all this testing on your patient to check their functional range of motion there is some there are variety of scales available to check for hip functional range of motion this is just one example this i have taken from maggie that is your harris hip function scale in that you have may uh, pain 44 points then function you have 47 points maximum you can check for limping you can check for support distance walks functional activities like stair climbing socks and tie shoes sitting whether the patient is able to enter the public transport or not so depending on all this criteria you can rate your patients there are variety of other scales are available you can also use them so never stop learning because life never stops teaching i hope you liked my today's lecture if you are liking the lectures then subscribe my youtube channel and please like and share the video thank you the reference is from the slide is taken from david j maggie orthopedic physical assessment